Winter is just around the corner and I still haven't finished my van build. With the colder weather rolling in and an unfinished van, that will only mean one thing, condensation. Oh, God's sake. Now this might not sound like a big deal, but condensation can lead to damp, mold, rust, and even wood rot. Basically, it could ruin all the progress I've made so far, if I don't get it sorted. When I first started my van conversion, I had so much motivation. I, uh, I was off to a good start, everything was going really well, and then the money dried up, and then so did my motivation. And uh, yeah, I kind, of, I kind of stopped for a bit. Also, I got the van to a point where I can kind of live in it comfortably. So yeah, the conversion kind of took a back seat for a while. But seeing as the weather's getting colder now, and especially at night time, my van is getting a lot of condensation um, and if you live in a van yourself you just know condensation it's just a never-ending battle um, I'm getting most of it on the roof and I'm guessing this is happening because the roof is still bare metal um, I haven't done anything to the roof yet so it's the coldest point in the van and when my body's all hot and sweaty from sleeping um, that heat's probably hitting that cold metal and I'm getting loads of loads of condensation and I'm literally waking up to like a tropical rainforest because these water droplets are just like falling on me and it feels like it is raining inside the van which isn't very good so I really need to carry on with the van build so I'm gonna go get some insulation board and start doing the roof um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna stick the insulation board up on the roof yet but pff, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it Stay. Stay. <sighs> Come on. Right, it doesn't help that I've parked in a hill. Got all the board back now. And now I'm going to try and figure out how to stick it to the roof. Ah, hate that noise. I want to apply more pressure to the roof, so I thought I'd use my mum's extendable mop. Well, this is a budget build. Voila. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need the right tools, you just need to be a little bit resourceful. I mean, this is proper DIY, um, but hopefully these guys stick. I'm probably gonna leave this bit for now. Um, I'm gonna see if these bit dry and stay up. Um, I'll leave them up overnight like this on their makeshift stilts and uh, hopefully they don't fall down in the morning. Okay, moment of truth. I was worried about the big one because it's obviously the heavier one. <laughs> okay, nice. They seem pretty solid. What I need to do now is figure out how to increase the airflow in the back of the van. 
Originally I was going to get a window installed but I kind of voted against it last minute so I'm trying to think of alternatives. So I'm going to jump onto Amazon and see if I can find anything that can help with the condensation. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is a wind-powered rotating fan. Um, I've read a few blogs on this saying that they can be a pretty cheap and effective way to help with condensation. So I thought I'd give that a go. I left the space blank here so I can get it installed. And then once it's in I can uh, put the rest of the foam board on. So the next item was for a random idea I had. I literally don't know what to call this. I ordered like a Hoover tube or hose. The bit that goes into a Henry Hoover. So the idea goes like this. If I can find a way to attach this hose to the front vent, I would then be able to directly blow air into the back of the van, thus increasing airflow. I think. I mean, it's not the worst idea that I've had. I have no idea how I'm going to make this stick, but I think for now, maybe black tape. I don't know. Well, that idea is going to have to wait because I'm on my way to get my fan installed. We got a spinner. So I've just got the roof fan installed. Um, I'm really happy with it. The uh, company that did it were really nice. Um, and did a really good job and uh, yeah I'm starting to feel like I'm getting I'm finally getting a lot done I'm ticking a lot of things off and uh, yeah I just feel like nothing's gonna get in the way oh, it's so typical the first night I get this installed and it is absolutely chucking it outside so I'm hoping this does not leak Fingers crossed. All right, it <laughs> doesn't seem to have leaked, so that's pretty good. Oh. Now to crack on with the roof. need to keep in mind that I need to cut a circle into the foam board so the fan can still work and doesn't get covered up. Luckily I still have some of this soundproofing so I'm going to put this on the roof before I put the foam board up. So hopefully by a stroke of luck I have measured this all out Correct. Like a pro. I'm just gonna tape up around the edges. Right, I just need to cut a square into this for the fan. I was gonna do a circle, but I think a square will be easier to cut out. You twat. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh shit. I wanted to knock this square out. Ah, oh, bugger that one, didn't I? Alright, take two. Yeah! All right, I just need to put the vapor barrier on. So I've done everything I can. Um, the, the foam boards are up, the vapor barrier's up. Um, eventually I will put some sort of wooden roof on. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be wooden slats or just plywood, but that stuff costs money. <laughs> and uh, I am out of money for this month. Um, that's what they don't tell you about van builds. They are they are expensive, bloody expensive. And I'm trying to do it on the cheap. So, pff, 
I can't imagine what some of these luxury vans bloody cost. But that's it. The the roof's gonna have to stay just with a vapor barrier on it for a while. Um, which I don't mind. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like I'm sleeping in a bloody rocket or some sort of UFO. So <laughs> I don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I've done everything I can. Hopefully this helps with the condensation. Um, I'm going to sleep in it tonight and test it out. Uh, I think there still might be a little bit of condensation on the vapour barrier in the morning. But, I mean, as long as it's not on the actual metal, uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, and also, the vapour barrier and the foam should really help insulate it. So, the condensation shouldn't be too bad. Um, it should really help to keep some of that warm in. So, yeah, I'm going to see how it goes uh, in the morning. And uh, fingers crossed, <laughs> it's not it's not a bloody tropical rainforest in the morning. <sighs> oh yeah. We've got a dry roof. Yay! <laughs> That's good. Although I am going to miss the raindrops falling on my head in the morning. There's a good alarm clock. <laughs>